this tutorial will show you how to display a coming soon button depending on whether a scheduled post has been published or not. For this tutorial, we'll be using Dynamic Shortcodes and Dynamic Visibility for Elementor, which are two plugins by the Dynamic U team. So now let's jump right into it. Here we have a page with a CTA that advertises the Elementor Masterclass and currently it shows coming soon so there's no button that takes you to where you can purchase the course. The reason for this is when you go to where the course actually is, it is scheduled for a future date. So it is not yet published, that's why it's showing coming soon. But the moment I, let's go ahead and just click quick edit and change the date to something in maybe the past, so say maybe September. So let's say it has already been published. So update it. And I come back to the post, refresh. You now see a button pops up that says purchase course because the post has now been moved from scheduled to published. And when I click on the button, it takes me to the post where I can now go ahead and purchase the course which shows that it's 97 pounds and has all the details. So let's say you're working on a kind of coupon or something that's supposed to be activated in the future. You can create a button that will only activate when that post has finally been published. So it's a cool way and it's quite easy to do. So let's go ahead and see how we do it. First, we'll take a look at the plugins. The plugins we'll be working with today are Elementor, Dynamic Shortcodes and either Dynamic Visibility for Elementor or Dynamic Content for Elementor. Either one of them would work. So now let's go ahead and see how we create the button. First, I'll show you the post I created. So I just created a CPT, but it works with any kind of post. So here's the CPT called Courses. That was created using Jet Engine. Then all I have to do is just create the post first. Once you've created the post, you cannot come up to the top. So let's go ahead and edit the post. You see at the top, it says post equal to 207. That number is important. That is the ID of the post. We're going to be using that ID to tell our short code what we want to hide or show. It will be based on that ID of that post. So this is the post that we are using as the condition. So that ID is 207. I'll go ahead and copy it. Now we can go ahead and create our post where we want our button to be. So I'll go to a page. So let me just go under pages. Then I'll create a new page or let me go to the home page. Then I'll just come under because we're just doing a test. I'll drop two widgets. So the first one is maybe a, just a text editor widget and the actual button widget. So the first text, which we just say coming soon. That will show up when the post has not been published. So what we are working with is just the post status. So if the post status is equal to published, then show the post. Otherwise, don't show the post. So to make us know exactly what's going on, I'll go ahead and I'll just drop another heading widget. So heading. And this is going to show us the post status. So if you have dynamic shortcodes installed, if you go down to the bottom, you'll be able to see dynamic U, dynamic shortcodes as a heading under the dynamic tags. So I'll go ahead and choose dynamic shortcodes. Then I'll click on the wrench icon. And in here, we can now start using our dynamic shortcodes. So to get the post status, the shortcode is post, column, and then status. That's very intuitive, right? So you want the status of the post, so post, column, status. See. But what's happening now is getting the status of the post that we are currently on. So it's 
telling us that the post has been published. So now let's go ahead and check for the actual post that we are trying to reference. And we got the ID as 207. So you now have to specify the ID. I'll say at ID equal to 207. You see, that tells us that the post has been published. And to be sure that it's the right post, I'll just add another short code before this and say post column title, then put a dash. So now this is the home page. Oh, sorry, I didn't add the ID. So at ID equal to 207. So here we get it. So Elementor Masterclass, it has been published. So publish, preview on the front end. If you go down, you see Elementor Masterclass, the status is published. If we come back to the post and we change the status to something else. So I'll say maybe from publish to draft, update it. And then I come back and I preview it. This is where we now get a little thing that we need to change. So it tells us that the short code, because it is not a published post, we cannot get access to it. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. So the only way we can get access to this post is by applying it as an administrator. And the only way we can apply it as an administrator is by using what we call power short codes. Sometimes some things are kind of like restricted. They cannot work in the normal sense because you don't want just your, maybe your editors or so, so your subscriber to be able to just access some of this information. So some things can only be done by the administrator. So the administrator can create what's called a power short code using a unique name. And then if he likes, he can give that power short code with a unique name to his authors and his editors for them to use that short code. But first it has to be created by the administrator. So now let's go back. Then we'll have to go under power short code. So let me go back to the home page. I'll come to dynamic short codes. Then I'll go to power short codes. I've already created one power short code, but let me create another one, which will be simple. So I'll say new. Then I'll say this will be publish status. And all I have to do is just come back to the post and copy this post status at ID, copy, come back, paste it there. And that's it. So I'm saying I want to get the post status for this post ID. Let me now copy the PowerShot code name, save changes. That's it. So come back and then I paste it. Okay, I can now go ahead and delete the other one. And that now it shows that it is draft. If I publish it, this is draft. So it can now read for just that post. It will not work for any other post, just the post that we've specified. So now let me go ahead and see if it's actually working. So now it shows draft. If I go change it to published and maybe set the dates to the future. 11th of November, update it. We come back, refresh this page. You see, it now shows that it's in the future. So that is because it's scheduled, so it's in the future. So you can now use this post status in your work. So you can say, if you want it to show coming soon, when it is showing the future, you can simply come over to this coming soon Go to visibility, add the visibility. And the way I like to work is that I'll say it should only show it when it is not published so that whether it is on draft or on scheduled or anything, it should say coming soon. But the moment it says published, this is only when it will show the button. So how do we do that? So come down to dynamic tags, then I'll choose my dynamic tag, come down to the bottom to the power short code, click on the wrench icon, and then I'll paste it. 
so that's there. Then oh, I close it. So let me come back. I'll go to the status should be if you look through all of them, the main one we're looking for is this equal to. Or in this case, since we're working with the coming soon, so we want to say that it is not equal to publish. So anything other than publish show coming soon. The moment it shows publish, then show the button. So that's it. Let me go ahead and go to the click here button. Click on visibility. Turn it on. We can go ahead and just delete all of this. We only really want the dynamic tag. I like to keep things tidy. So now for the dynamic tags, click on that dynamic tag. Go to the bottom, choose dynamic shortcodes, click on the wrench icon, and now post that power shortcode again. And this time I want it to be equal to, and the value should be publish. So I publish it. And now we can test it on the front end. So come to the post. Okay, refresh. See, because it's in the future, it only shows coming soon. If I go ahead and change it to the past, update, come back, refresh, it shows publish, and then it shows the click here button. That's how you can get to show a content based on whether it is published or not. You can go a step further and rather than putting the ID to be specific, we can give the user the option to choose the exact ID you want. So all you have to do is come back to the shortcode. So let me go to the shortcode. Then I'll go to power shortcode under dynamic shortcodes, power shortcodes. And rather than making the ID to be static value, what I'll do is put another dynamic tag. And this time I'm just going to say the args column, double pipe symbol, and zero. So I'm saying the first argument that is imputed into the PowerShot code should be used as the ID. Let's see what that means. So if I save changes, then I'll come back to the post. Now I'll refresh it. And what happens is that it shows null because I've not yet imputed any ID as my argument. So if I come to the short code, I'll click on the bench icon. And now after the post status, I can now add an extra ID. So that is, I put a space and I say 207. And it shows published. Then we'd want to go ahead and do the same thing for the dynamic tags. So come on, that coming soon, visibility. I'll go back to the, let me, Clear all of this. Just set it up to be only dynamic tags. Go under dynamic tags. Click on the event icon. And I have to specify 207. The button itself. I'll do the same thing. Visibility. Then dynamic tags. Click on the event icon. And I'll say 207. Okay. Publish it now. Come back to the front end, refresh. You see, it's still working. So that's if you want to add a number, but usually you just set up the power shot code for a specific thing. So you don't really need to start putting in this extra argument, but this is just an option for you if you want to make it more flexible. So I hope this video has helped you. Thanks for watching. I hope you've liked this video. I'm hoping to do a live stream on Saturday. If you are watching this video as soon as it's published, then I'll be doing a live stream on Saturday to just go through some of the things you can do with dynamic shortcodes in different builders. But if you're watching it in the future, then the video should be popping up somewhere on the screen right now. So thanks for watching again. Please do leave a like. You can subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.